KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Thursday, the 4th of June. I'm James Spann. Warm, muggy, scattered showers and storms in progress today. That'll be the theme for a while. And we're still watching Cristobal, which is now inland over the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. Here we go. Upper air look this afternoon. Very familiar look for June. Main westerlies up north, ridging down here. Warm, muggy air mass, and in the heat of the day, you can see those convective flares across the deep south, thunderstorms developing in random, scattered locations. That was the radar at 226, and showers continue to increase steadily as we do this update. Not everybody getting rain tonight, but some of you will. It's hit and miss, and that'll be the case for a while. Temperatures are mostly in the 80s, although Centerville's got 78. They've had a passing rain shower. Birmingham at 85. There's the watch warning map, flash flood watches for southeast Louisiana and coastal Mississippi. And that is in expectation of the rains from Cristobal uh, late in the weekend and early next week. Also a flash flood watch for parts of South Florida. And up north, a severe thunderstorm watch for parts of Ohio, Virginia, Maryland, and Pennsylvania. Out in the western states, excessive heat warnings again for the desert southwest. Chance of severe storms in a number of places across the middle and eastern half of the country. A marginal risk clipping the Tennessee Valley of North Alabama this evening. Tomorrow, four marginal risks in scattered spots well to the north and west of here. And Saturday, which is day three, an enhanced risk over South Dakota. Let's take a look at Cristobal. The system is weakened as expected into a tropical depression. The circulation is well inland. It will slowly begin to lift northward tomorrow, and it should be back over the water by tomorrow night, becoming a tropical storm. Here's the new track from the Hurricane Center. No major change. It brings it up into the Louisiana coast Sunday night. It's a tropical storm, and again, typically with these early season tropical cyclones, the main issue is heavy rain and flooding potential. Model agreement, not bad. Uh, the GFS, most all the ensemble members bring it up into Louisiana. You got the little hokey-pokey action there on that control, but uh, the bottom line is the NHC track looks very good. Confidence is high. This is the intensity forecast, and again, uh, very good agreement. Most of the models keep it as a medium tropical storm on the way in. So let's go through the day-by-day -day modeling here. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, ballot tomorrow at 4. In a ridge here, westerlies to the north, the jet stream up north. And uh, much like today, a mixture of clouds and sunshine with random scattered showers and storms. Highs, upper 80s. Saturday, same thing. Again, we'll have the chance of scattered showers and storms with Cristobal down in the Gulf moving northward. This is Sunday at 4. The GFS has Cristobal near the mouth of the Mississippi River. This is the... European on Sunday, and it's got it a little farther to the south and west, but again, coming up on the Louisiana coast. And really, both models suggest that we could be in the subsidence ring on the periphery of this thing with sinking air. And if this verifies, Sunday would be relatively dry here, despite the fact we have a tropical storm in the Gulf. This is Sunday night. The uh, European will stick with that. It, it really drifts at almost due west. And then Monday, it comes in near the Sabine Pass, the Texas Louisiana border. Um, and again, you know, which part of Louisiana this comes through, we don't exactly know. We need to get it back in the Gulf to find out. But certainly at this point, uh, Louisiana seems to be the target. And again, if you're beach bound, uh, I would not hesitate to go to Panama City, Destin, Gulf Shores, Orange Beach uh, this weekend. Will it rain at times? Yes, the rain may be heavy. Again, here's a look at the expected rain and the amounts, two, three inches over the next five days, maybe four inches in spots, but it's not all going to come at once. And there'll be breaks and the sun will be out at times. Uh, there could be a few isolated uh, water spouts or maybe a brief tornado. But again, uh, you know, the ma main wind field is off to the west. So uh, go have a good time down there. This is Tuesday. The remnant circulation is moving up through Arkansas into southern Missouri. 
And that's really when the chance of rain could be higher here as deeper moisture is pulled northward. Wednesday, the remnant circulation moving up into Canada. Drier air tries to push in here, and this is a week from today, Thursday, June 11th, troughing developing over the eastern states. And if by chance this is right, we would be in a drier air mass with no rain, no showers on Thursday. Let's go out 10 days, Sunday, June 14th, trough in the western states. And again, that looks pretty quiet. Here's the rain for Birmingham. This is off the GFS Ensemble. We're looking for the mean, that green line, a little over 2 inches for the next 15 days. Highs, mostly upper 80s, lows around 70 through mid-June. And ooh, I like those blue colors. This is suggesting temperatures below average on the new CPC outlook for the eastern half of the United States. This is for June 12th through June 18th. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.